it was drawing my whole life, but the stuff that I drew was not mainstream skulls, you know, anarchy symbols and goofy stuff like that. Uh, everybody thought that I should uh, go to uh, Disney and make cartoons, which I did not want to do. So I felt like the only um, the only uh, profession I could really get into was tattooing, and uh, I felt like if I did that, it'd make me cooler. The whole plan was uh, you got to come up with something that people are going to remember because back then it wasn't about doing artwork. It was about this is a business. The idea and it's it's one of those businesses where it's an industry where it's real rebellious. So you got to sound cool. You got to make sure you have a name that people are going to remember. So night made me cooler. So everybody gets that. I think I, Steve's a really good guy. He's uh, as far as a tattoo artist. He's he's very clean. He's very conscientious as to what's going on he wants to make you sure of what you're doing and why you're doing it and he's just he's a really good guy <laughs> <laughs> well, they're not for everyone my mother still says she doesn't know what happened to me or how, how I could be her daughter but yeah, you know, it's to each his own. Hmm. Just got to be happy with what you have because you're stuck with it. The convention was awesome. We saw a lot of weird things and a lot of weird people. Ow! Wow, there are real staples in that gun, eh? I uh, got a tattoo from Steve at the convention. Uh, we came in there not expecting to get anything, but I saw the work that he was doing. Um, on some other people, and I figured the his artwork is just so precise and honestly beautiful that I wanted to put it on my body, and I'd have to say that I wouldn't want to go back to another tattoo artist after him. I just got done with uh, with the tattoo convention, a little exhausted, ready to go to fucking bed, and uh, go home to my kids, which would be nice. My wife and my kids are everything I have. They're the, the be best thing ever happened to me. And uh, when my wife came around, it was like one of those things I knew I was in love with her. I have a wife and two kids to support on top of all of my expensive habits. And I go to my job every day and I work my ass off. I'm just a regular guy. I'm a, I'm a re regular guy who likes to do artwork. I think my mom said I, I was drawing, seriously drawing at like age five. Where like that's that's what I want to do all the time. I was around thirteen or fourteen, and my mom went went for her first tattoo. We didn't have a babysitter, and she ended up having to bring me with. And I thought I was the coolest kid on the face of the earth that I was going to be allowed by my mom to go into this tattoo parlor and hang out while she was getting the tattoo. And that's the way I felt about it, you know. So that was the seed. My mom was very, uh, you know, very accepting of art. Most others were not. So, uh, of course, my dad did not want me to be a tattoo artist. I had to find... There was, yes, there was a period of time when, when I hated my dad. I'm sure my dad hated me. Uh, you know. Steve was a troubled kid in high school. Didn't really care for me all that much. It seems as if uh, kids from broken homes are a bit of a mess. Yes! The birds are flying. Yep. Where are we going? We're going to New Orleans. Well, yes, we are going to New Orleans. They're like airplanes. Mm -hmm. So, uh, of course, my dad did not want me to be a tattoo artist. I'm happy that he's doing whatever he wants to do. Hard. All right, let's go Come on. Inside. Damien, let's go. Are you ready for some caviar? No, I don't want caviar. Do <laughs> you want chicken butt? No. You want some chicken feet? No. I, I always think of him when I hear that song, The Cat in the Cradle. Mm -hmm. Because, and I... 
I thought about it uh, Friday night, all fucking night. It drove me nuts. The song is about the father who works too much and then the son who ends up working too much. So my dad calls me up Friday night. And by the way, I'm a huge Bulls, Bulls fan. Go Bulls. Fuck you, Miami. Um, and says, by the, I, I have this buddy, and he's got, a fr- he's got an extra ticket to the Bulls game tomorrow, which happened to be the first playoff game of the season. And I looked at the, my book, my schedule book, for the, for the next afternoon and knew, based on the second client that I had, that there was no way I was going to be able to go because I, if I blew off this client for a second time, I was going to lose a client. So I had to do the stupid adult responsible bullshit thing and not go to a Bulls game. So uh, he got mad. Have to work. I told him, why don't you go? Well, I have to work too. So I got reminded of that damn song all night. So Yeah, no, we get along great. Everything's awesome. I really don't appreciate the tattoo business like he does. But that's his choice. You know, <clears throat> he's run the full gamut in his life. He's gone from extreme troublemaker to model dad. I'm really very proud of him. I can't say much more than that. 